Thank you for visiting this video segment for Dr. AFib. I'm Dr. Morales. Dr. AFib is your expert source on questions about living with atrial fibrillation. In today's video segment, we're going to go back to the most fundamental question about atrial fibrillation. What is uh, atrial fibrillation? I'm surprised that even recently I got asked by a, this question by a patient, what is atrial fibrillation? And just kind of to relates that how many patients just don't understand what atrial fibrillation is. Now whenever I explain atrial fibrillation, I always start off with the basics about what is the term. Uh, the word atrial comes from the upper chambers of the heart, which are called the atrium. And in atrial fibrillation, the atrium are doing what's called fibrillation, which means it's going so fast, instead of squeezing like a normal, it's kind of just quivering and going uh, very fast. Atrial fibrillation affects millions of Americans across the United States and over 30 million patients across the world. So let's start off with the most basic things about a normal heartbeat. In a normal heartbeat, the heartbeat starts at the right upper chamber of your heart in an area called the sinoatrial node. That's sort of the your natural pacemaker which drives your heartbeats. Starts off there, goes to the middle portion of your heart and then it goes down to the ventricles which is where your pulse comes from. So when you feel and check your pulse, that's the ventricles that you are feeling there. Okay. However, in atrial fibrillation, those upper chambers of your heart, instead of beating in a coordinating together fashion, they're beating very rapid and very chaotically. Uh, and they can be beating up to 600 beats per minute, even more than that. And so again, the, atri the atrium and atrial fibrillation are just going so rapidly that they're just quivering and going very uh, chaotically. And there's no coordination between the contraction of the upper chambers of the heart. Fortunately, your pulse, which comes again, comes from your ventricles, cannot go as fast as the atrium are going, but still can go very rapid, easily can go 120 beats per minute, and in some patients go much faster than that, 150, 180, even 200 beats per minute. So it can make the heart go very, very fast. Now how does atrial fibrillation feel? Uh, people feel it very differently. Uh, the most common way that people feel atrial fibrillation is a feeling of a fast heartbeat or kind of a skipping or a racing of the heart, and that's probably the most common symptom that people feel. Uh, but some people feel more subtle symptoms. They just feel maybe more, more tired or short of breath. You just notice that you don't have as much energy when you're having episodes of atrial fibrillation. In addition, they, there are patients out there who truly feel nothing. Uh, they, they, their heartbeats can be going very fast, 150, 180, and they truly feel nothing. Uh, and a lot of times in these situations, the atrial fibrillation is found accidentally, like when you go to your primary care doctor's office and they listen to you and they do listen to you with their stethoscope and they realize your heart is going very fast. And so these can be diagnosed accidentally in, in a variety of patients. But pro even though there's a variety of the way of the symptoms, the way that patients feel with atrial fibrillation, probably the most dramatic consequence of having atrial fibrillation is risk of stroke. Atrial fibrillation dramatically increases your risk of stroke uh, anywhere from 1% who have, for patients who have lower risk factors for atrial fibrillation to all the way up to 18% increase of atrial fibrillation for people who have a multiple risk factors for, develop, for risk of stroke. So there's a wide variety of ways how atrial fibrillation can affect you, affect your heart, and also affect your uh, risk of stroke, which is important to discuss with your doctor to make sure that you're on proper treatment and proper management for risk of stroke. Thank you for visiting this video segment for Dr. AFib. I'll see you next time.